Hello YouTube, this is Bruno. We have a challenge on my Hemisphere survival server to build a redstone contraption, namely the best barrel crafter setup that we could. So basically the idea is that we have a black box and the input are locks, only locks, so we can't use planks or slabs. And the rules are not quite specific, but only it has to be a black box where locks go in and barrels go out, so we need to auto-craft all of these planks and the slabs, and it has to fit in one chunk. So I will show you my solution in a moment. If you want to do the challenge yourself, please stop the video now, and of course continue once you're done. Okay, three, two, one, zero. Here we go. So this is my solution to the problem. It crafts 18,000 barrels per hour, so it works at double hopper speed, so let's turn the machine on. So you see the barrels come in at double hopper speed or observer clock speed. Here we have an input chest that takes the lock. All of the components are crafted as desired. So the components in here do not run dry. And there's also a safety feature if this chest is empty, we will enable this redstone torch. So let's just do this and we will stop the crafting. Let's show you how I arrived at the solution. Now the very basic setup that probably everyone thinks first of is to pre-fill the crafter and to use hoppers to input the items. So here I have a crafter with three hoppers that fill in planks and one hopper that fills in slabs and we put this on a clock so we power this barrel which is a solid block to power the crafter and the clock is a 0 0.8 second clock that means we craft something like 4500 barrels per hour so there are two things we can do on one side we can use faster methods to transfer the items um, this is done here so instead of feeding the crafter with poppers, we will feed it with droppers and power the dropper at observer speed. So this is what this machine here does. So basically we have this block powering these two droppers, we have another block powering these two droppers. So if all four droppers are powered at observer clock speed. And then we have another observer clock, but we split the frequency in half. So this barrel is powered at hopper speed, so this crafts 9,000 barrels per hour. This is already a feasible solution. However, of course we need to auto-craft these items, so we kind of need to craft the planks, which of course can be done. We also need to craft the slabs which can also be done by first auto-crafting the logs to planks and then to craft the planks into slabs. Now this is a bit of a headache how to control these crafters so that we don't overflow because the thing is if we just power this crafter here then you see that the items shoot out because the crafter works whether there's space in here or not. So in this case, three planks will go in here, but one plank will be ejected. So obviously that's not a good solution. Now we could probably build a machine that keeps these chests stocked by figuring out the correct timings, but we'll do one thing better. And this is basically to use as little hoppers as possible but instead to feed the crafters into each other. So here in the middle, we have a crafter that crafts the barrel. We have on the side a crafter that crafts planks. We have on the other side a crafter that crafts slabs. And here we would input the locks only into these crafters. Here in our previous contraptions the limit was hopper speed or rather dropper speed in this case. This will transfer four items at once. So if we power this crafter then we will transfer four planks at once. 
Of course, we still have to figure out the timings because we run into the same issue that we do get barrels, but we also get a lot of planks and we get a lot of slabs shooting out. So the idea is to power all of these crafters with the correct timings. So let's see how much we need. Let's say we power this crafter with a base frequency, say once per second or whatever. So we need six planks for each crafting process. Or in other words, we need to power this crafter a lot faster. On the other side, we need only a third of the slabs because every time we power this crafter, we will use two slabs. Every time we power this crafter, we will get six slabs. So we only have to power this one third of the time. But of course, we also need to provide the planks. And this has to be crafted three fourths for each activation here, which comes out at one fourth base frequency. So for example, if we power this once per second, then we wouldn't have to power this every four seconds. Now the bottleneck in this case is this plank crafter here. So this is kind of the slowest object. Now we can change this by having two crafters providing the planks, like so. So we have another crafter here in the back that also crafts logs to planks. And now this crafter here is our bottleneck. So for every time we power this crafter, we need to power these two crafters three fourths times or nine twelfth times. So this is all normalized to twelfth. All right, how can we do that? And that's a machine that I have built here. So we have five observers for the five crafters. And each observer will detect if one of these rails is powered. And in the back and at the bottom, we have 12 rails that we will power in sequence. Let's turn this machine on. So these rails are powered one after the other. And the number of observers here corresponds to the number of times the crafter is powered. So for the middle, we have 12 observers. This means this crafter is powered 12 times, once for each rail. Here on these outside rails, we have nine observers. So that means these crafters are powered nine times. This one here has four observers. So this crafter is powered four times. Um, this crafter on the outside has three observers, so it's powered three times. So we power all of these crafters at the correct time. And this is kind of a blueprint how we can activate crafters an arbitrary amount of times as long as this is long enough for rails. So basically as long as we have at most 17 rails on the bottom. Here on the outside, we have a clock that powers these rails in a six game tick interval. So that's not quite observer speed. And that's also the limitation. So this comes out at four third times hopper speed or 12,000 barrels per hour. Now, unfortunately, we cannot make this fast. Now, what you think we could do is to update this clock here. And now these rails are activated in four game tick intervals or observer clock speed. But unfortunately, this observer's tends to miss objects. And this is why we now see items shot out. So let's slow this a bit down so you can see what happens. Then you see that this observer will trigger only every other time. So basically we have three state changes. The rail is activated, deactivated and activated again. And this will trigger the observer once. I'm not 100% sure why this is the case. I would have expected this to work at observer clock speed or 18,000 barrels per hour, but it doesn't. So basically these three crafters here will miss pulses. So the only way to fix this is to slow down the whole contraption and to craft at 12,000 barrels per hour. Okay. But how can we do this faster? How can we power this crafter here at observer clock speed or double hopper speed? And there we go. This is basically the same idea, but we use an individual clock for each of the crafters. 
So we have one clock here, and this is just an observer clock. Let's turn this on again. So we just have an observer clock powering this block, which powers this crafter. So this crafter is powered 18,000 times per hour. Then we have this block here controlling the two outer crafters. And here we push this observer in and out to achieve exactly the correct rate that we need. What we need is 3 fourth. So basically what we need here is 12,000 activations per hour. Uh, this can be achieved by doing that, by pushing these observers in and out. And what we have here on the outside is a six game tick clock that works like this. And then we halve the speed. So this is basically a pulse divider, which will halve the frequency. So here we have a 12 game tick clock, uh, once every 0 0.6 seconds. We will activate this crafter that crafts the, the slabs. And here on the outside we just have a 16 game tick clock. So this crafter is activated once every 0 0.8 seconds. And we do that by taking an observer clock and dividing the pulse twice. And that's it really. Now what we need to do is to feed in the locks at sufficient speed because we craft 13,500 times per hour, which is faster than hopper speed. Hopper speed is 9,000. So we have to have two hoppers feeding the planks for each of these crafters. That's what we have here. Two hoppers feeding planks into these crafters. And the, for this one, we only need hopper speed. In fact, we need half hopper speed, so one hopper line is fine. And now we just take two minecarts that can transfer items at eight times hopper speed. So these are in a glass, but are aligned against the honey. So both minecarts will suck out the locks from this chest and distribute the items over all of those hoppers here. So this minecart provides the items for two hoppers and the other minecart provides the items for three hoppers. And that's really all of the contraption. What remains to do is to read this chest. And if this chest is empty, this redstone clock will activate. Then we will activate this piston. This piston pushes down the redstone block. And if the redstone block ends up here, we stop all of the clocks. Yeah, I think this is fairly compact. I'm not sure if I could do it any smaller, provided that I use only one crafter to craft the barrels. Of course, you could blow this up. You could use several crafters for the barrels and get higher speed. Then probably the bottleneck would be how fast you can take out the items from this chest. But for one crafter crafting the barrels, I think this is the fastest that I can do. And that's it. I hope you liked the solution to this challenge. Maybe if you have a better solution, let me know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you want to see more content like this. Please subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos. And see you next time. Bye bye.